Hello, y'all. If you are a human being and enjoy hearing crazy weird sounds, then this is the video for you. So with this new Ableton Live 11 update, now on the audio effects racks, you can have variations and more macros and that kind of thing. Uh, opens up some fun capabilities to save some new presets for yourself. So I've been messing around with this along with Little Alter Boy, which is a plugin by Sound Toys, and uh, basically making choirs with these effects racks. So here, down here, I'm gonna show you one. So this is my little Alter Boy Choir. You'll see there's some variations here, but first I'm gonna show you how I have this set up. All right, so here is my Alter Boy Choir chain and I have all my instances of uh, little Alter Boy loaded up here. So the dry is just currently nothing. It's just, it's just on and there in case I need it. Uh, and then member one is the second one here. The pitch is higher, it uh, goes up. <coughs> The second one here goes up seven semitones, uh, and the formant shifts it up a little bit, and then the second one is down five semitones, and then formant shifted down a little bit. So with seven semitones up, it hits the fifth of a chord, fifth note, and then same with down, it hits a fifth. So I'm gonna enable them. Ooh, now you see I got a nice harmony. So then I have these variants, and these are just various presets I have. So as I click through, you'll see lows is a fifth, uh, the, the fit, the, the, the. So here I have one that's pitched an octave down, and one that's pitched down five semitones, so it just makes it all lower. This one, same thing with highs, and then high-low octaver is an octave higher, octave lower. Uh, and then these are just various different octave uh, harmonies here. So I'm just gonna click through them and kind of show you how I'm using these to make a little vocal, vocal, how I'm using these to make a little vocal choir. This is my basic harmony, and then we got some lows, and then we got some highs, and then we got some high-low octaves, one octave up and one octave down with some form and shifts. Low double octaver is two very low octaves down, and high double octaver is two double octaves up with various form and shifts. So that's fun and dandy. But now that we have that, what else can we do with it? So what if, just for funsies here, I'm gonna stack uh, two Alter Boy choirs on. Oops, on top of each other. So here's this what this is gonna sound like. So this is my, my first little Alter Boy choir. And then I'm gonna turn on my other so you can see we can get some really interesting sounds out of this. So I'm just going to kind of keep playing around with some sounds and sort of show you how you can sort of use this to turn your voice into kind of a crazy harmonized instrument. Think of like how a synthesizer with uh, with the different oscillators, you can set, you know, different semitones and stuff. So you press one note, but it sounds like a chord. You can kind of do the similar thing with Little Alter Boy and these effects racks.
clearly lots of fun to be had with this. Um, and I'm going to mess around with some other stuff. Like I'm going to, I have this Ocarina, an official Ocarina of Time. Uh, like this video for the Ed64 throwbacks. I don't really know how to play this, but check this out. I could basically use this to uh, to create my own samples for like woodwood instruments or some crazy shit like that, which I'm probably gonna do. So uh, subscribe and uh, make sure you look out for those free sample packs because there's gonna be some fucking crazy sounding instruments coming out of this. Let me try something else. All right, so I'm gonna try to to make an instrument doing this. So I'm gonna just use my hands like this, just to make as though it's sampling like a woodwind instrument or something like that. So I'm just going to record that and then put it into a sampler and see if I can uh, make like a rhythm out of it. <laughs> Lick the reeds. Alright, so we used our Alto Boy Choir to make that sound. So now we're going to load up a simpler here. And we're going to drag this sample into here. Okay, so now we got our sample in here. So now I can use it to make some little chords. All right, but anyway, you get the gist. Um, it's just super fun to make some like crazy sounds. Uh, and even just uh, using one altar boy chain uh, to make just some harmonies is super fun in and of itself. Like this is just, you know, kind of super rad. Anyway, that's just something fun I was messing around with. I just thought I'd make a video and show you guys. If you like it, you like it. Awesome. Subscribe and then continue going on about your fabulous day. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up inside of you.